Hello viewer and welcome to the e-learning classroom. So today we are going to look at the, uh, the experiment on uh, lens whereby we have this setup. We have this particular setup. So we have the candle, we have the lens, we have the screen. Then we, have taught, we are taught to set distance L which is from here to here, candle to the screen, distance L being 80. And then from there we'll move the lens away until we obtain uh, a sharp image. Then we'll also move the lens towards, uh, that is uh, towards the screen and also obtain another sharp image. And then from there we are also turn to find the focal length from this equation we are given and also the power of the lens. So this experiment we are going to conduct now. So uh, let's start uh, by setting up the distance L being 80. That means we'll ensure that uh, the, the screen is at the 80 centimeter mark. We first ensure the screen is at the 80 centimeter mark. So that is the 80 centimeter mark. That is the 80 centimeter mark. So once we have that, at the lens should be at the middle, that is at 40. So the lens is at 40. So uh, first of all, we are trying to move the lens away. We are trying to move the lens away from the candle until we obtain a sharp image. So uh, we are trying to move the lens away from the candle. That is the way here until we obtain a sharp image. Already something is trying to appear on the screen. Let's see. We have the sharp image there. If you go forward, it gets distorted. Come back, it is fine. Go back, it again gets distorted. Uh, so that means the sharp image is appearing there. Uh, I don't know whether you're able to see that image on the screen. Then whether you're able to see that image on the screen. Maybe we can take you close so that you see that image. So uh, maybe you can observe it from here. Look at that image. Look at that image on the screen. So we have the sharp image at that point. That is the, the sharp image we have obtained at that point. So from there now, let's look at this distance. So this distance here, we have 80 from lens to the screen is 80, but this one is 69. So 80 minus 69, because image distance is from lens to the screen. So 80 minus 69, that is 11. That is 11 centimeters. So we record V1 as 11.0 centimeters. Remember it must be one decimal because we are measuring these various using a meter rule. So it must be one decimal. So that is V1. We go now to V2. So we are told now to move the, the lens towards the screen. Uh, towards the candle until we obtain a sharp image. Let's see whether we'll be able to get that. Uh, 
seems so seems we are not uh, able to see that maybe we can use a longer candle because it seems uh, the image is not casting on the screen let's see whether if we use a smaller candle we're we'll able to see something on the screen because it seems there is nothing oh yes oh yes let's move the lens here the screen yes yes somewhere there yes yes somewhere there now let's see what we have so we are moving this until we get a sharp image on the screen the image must be very very sharp so I don't know whether we are able to see this I don't know whether you're able to see this well. Seems there's a lot of minus 13. 8 minus 13, that is uh, 8 minus 13, that gives us. 8 minus 13 gives us 67 V2, so 67.0 centimeters. So that becomes the distance uh, V2, 67.0 centimeters. So these are the values we have. We can now use these values to obtain the value of the focal length together with the power of the lens. You can use them to obtain the focal length and the power of the lens. So viewers, now we can use these values to obtain the power of the lens. So we are given focal length is equal to L squared uh, minus into bracket V2 minus V1 divided by 4L. So we replace the values. So F is equal to L, we already have it here, 80 centimeters the total length so 80 squared minus into bracket v2 is 67 minus v1 which is 11 squared divided by 4 times l which is 80 so let's see what we get there so we have 80 squared minus 67, no, no, minus 80 squared minus into bracket 67 minus 11 uh, into bracket squared. We get that divided by into bracket 4 times 80. This gives us 10.2 so this one gives us 10.2 centimeters that is the focal length we can also get the power of this lens so we know power is given by 1 all over focal length in meters so that means power will be 1 all over 0 0.102 meters. And that means the power of this lens is, so 1 divided by 0 0.102, 9.80, 9.80, Three nine D for diopters, so that is a nine point eight zero three nine diopters.
That is the power of the lens we have been able to use.